Gene is a legend in the film industry with over 100 credits to the name, including huge hits such as Enemy of the State, Crimson Tide, No Way Out, and The French Connection. Despite he retired from acting and has been out of the spotlight in the last few years, the 93-year-old proved that he's still in good health as he was seen driving a 350-plus horsepower Toyota pickup truck in New Mexico. So what is he doing now? And how has Hackman's life been since retirement? Keep watching to find out. Early life. Born on January 30, 1930 in San Bernardino, California, Eugene Alden Hackman's early years were marked by a transient lifestyle as his parents, Eugene and Lida, moved frequently. Eventually, young Gene found stability in Illinois, where he was raised by his British maternal grandmother, Beatrice. Despite this stability, conventional schooling failed to engage him, prompting him to drop out at the age of 16. Eager for adventure and seeking purpose, Hackman took a bold step by enlisting in the Marines, albeit under false pretenses about his age. During his service, he honed his skills as a radio operator and even secured a position as a disc jockey while stationed in China. Upon completing his military service, Hackman set his sights on a career in broadcasting, initially pursuing opportunities as a radio announcer. In 1952, fueled by ambition and a thirst for knowledge, he embarked on a journey to New York to attend the School of Radio Technique. This marked the beginning of a transformative chapter in Hackman's life as he traversed America's heartland, refining his commanding voice and communication skills along the way. Approaching the age of 30, Hackman harbored a deep-seated desire to explore his passion for acting. In 1958, he took a leap of faith by enrolling at the prestigious Pasadena Playhouse in California. Despite facing initial skepticism and even being voted least likely to succeed alongside fellow classmate Dustin Hoffman, Hackman remained undeterred in his pursuit of his dreams. Though his time at the Pasadena Playhouse was cut short after just three months, Hackman refused to be discouraged. Returning to New York, he found mentorship and guidance under the wing of George Morrison, a seasoned instructor at the Lee Strasberg Institute. Under Morrison's tutelage, Hackman's talent flourished, laying the groundwork for a remarkable career that would see him become one of Hollywood's most revered actors. Career Gene Hackman's journey to cinematic stardom was marked by a gradual ascent, beginning with his humble beginnings on the small screen in live television productions. However, it wasn't long before his talent caught the attention of Broadway directors, earning him coveted roles on the prestigious stage. Despite making waves in the theater world, Hackman found himself drawn to the allure of cinema. In 1964, he made a memorable foray into feature films, with a brief yet impactful role as a romantic rival to Warren Beatty in Lilith. This early success laid the groundwork for what would become a distinguished career in Hollywood. Hackman's breakthrough came in 1967 when he was cast as Buck Barrow, the older brother of Clyde Barrow in the iconic gangster film Bonnie and Clyde. His portrayal infused the character with a depth of complexity, earning him critical acclaim and his first Oscar nomination. However, it was his role as the gritty and relentless New York cop Jimmy Popeye Doyle in The French Connection that solidified his status as a leading actor. Hackman's masterful portrayal garnered widespread praise and a slew of awards, including the coveted Academy Award for Best Actor. Despite announcing his retirement after nearly seven years of continuous work, Hackman was lured back to the silver screen by Warren Beatty for a supporting role in Reds in 1981. His return was met with resounding success, culminating in a second Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role as the sadistic sheriff, Little Bill Daggett, in Clint Eastwood's Unforgiven. Though Hackman officially retired from the silver screen in 2004, his indelible mark on cinema continues to resonate. 
While he may only make rare appearances on television in recent years, his legacy as one of Hollywood's most revered talents remains immortalized through his iconic performances and enduring influence on the industry. Gene and his truck. For Santa Fe locals, the sight of a senior citizen stopping by a gas station for fuel and a quick snack might not raise too many eyebrows. After all, Santa Fe is a popular retirement destination, nestled in a region where trucks reign supreme on the roads. But what could turn heads is when that elderly visitor happens to be none other than a Hollywood legend. Recently, residents were treated to the unexpected sight of Gene Hackman pulling up in a Toyota Tundra. Despite his 93 years, the iconic actor appeared surprisingly spry. While time may have etched lines on his face and added a touch of frailty to his frame compared to his on-screen heyday, Hackman still exuded an aura of vitality. Observers noted that he moved with a grace that belied his age, indicating that he's still very much engaged with life and far from slowing down. The excitement and affection for the star were palpable as images of the sighting quickly circulated across social media platforms. Hackman's decision to step away from the silver screen a couple of decades ago, following his final film role alongside Ray Romano in 2004's Welcome to Mooseport, left fans mourning the absence of his talent. His commanding presence, magnetic charisma, and masterful performances had always elevated any movie he graced with his presence. The realization that it's been close to two decades since his last on-screen appearance has undoubtedly left many feeling a sense of melancholy. However, Hackman's deliberate choice to retreat from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood life commands respect. In both his career and personal choices, it's evident that Gene Hackman follows his own path. Just as he portrayed characters who marched to the beat of their own drum, he continues to live life on his terms, away from the relentless glare of the spotlight. And while fans may yearn for his return to the screen, there's a certain dignity in knowing that he's content living a quieter, more private existence. After all, in the grand script of life, Gene Hackman remains the lead actor, directing his own narrative with characteristic independence and poise. Hackman's Truck one of the most fascinating aspects of Guinea Hackman's recent appearance in Santa Fe, a seed from the rarity of his public sightings, was his choice of transportation. The Hollywood icon opted for a timeless classic, a Toyota Tundra. What made it even more intriguing was that Hackman's Tundra belonged to the truck's third generation and was customized to his liking. For those with a penchant for trucks, Delving into the specifications of Hackman's Tundra is like peering under the hood of a mystery. His ride boasted a robust 5.7-liter V8 engine, delivering a formidable 375 horsepower to the rear wheels. But it wasn't just any Tundra. Hackman's vehicle was equipped with the coveted TRD 4 x off-road package. The TRD package brought a slew of enhancements to Hackman's Tundra, including privacy glass for the rear doors, distinctive TRD badging, and a sturdy engine skid plate for added protection during off-road adventures. But the upgrades didn't stop there. Hackman's Tundra rolled on imposing 18-inch TRD off-road alloy wheels, paired with Bilstein shock absorbers to ensure a smooth ride over even the toughest terrain. To complete the ensemble, Hackman opted to add a truck cap from A.R.E., providing extra security and versatility to his already formidable ride. With these customizations, Hackman's Tundra wasn't just a vehicle. It was a statement, a reflection of his personality and his penchant for quality and reliability. Fighting after a fender bender. You'd figure that anyone unfortunate enough to have a car accident involving the legendary tough guy actor would tread lightly knowing his background. After all, Hackman's not just any former Marine. He's seasoned in hand-to-hand -hand combat. On the flip side, you'd also expect that encountering a Hollywood legend in a fender bender would spark recognition, maybe a bit of excitement, and perhaps an extra dose of kindness. Gene Hackman In 2001 
Back in 2001, there was a rather memorable incident involving Gene Hackman on Sunset Blov D in Hollywood. According to Hackman's lawyer, the mishap occurred when another driver abruptly cut him off in traffic, leaving Gene with little room to maneuver, resulting in a rear-end collision with a Volvo station wagon. The impact caused minor damage to both vehicles. But what ensued afterward was far from typical. The other driver, evidently displeased with the situation, leaped out of his car to confront Hackman. Whether he failed to recognize the Hollywood icon or simply disregarded his fame, he engaged in a heated exchange of words with Hackman. Things took a nasty turn when the other driver allegedly resorted to using an anti-gay slur, provoking Hackman to respond with a series of punches to the face. Remarkably, at the age of 71, Hackman displayed a willingness and ability to defend himself, showcasing his enduring toughness. Reports suggest that Hackman landed several blows before receiving a knee to the groin, which sent him tumbling to the ground. Despite the scuffle, neither party sustained significant injuries beyond bruised egos, and their respective vehicles remained relatively unscathed. In a surprising turn of events, both drivers opted to simply drive away without involving law enforcement or pursuing charges. Hackman's representatives later revealed that the actor found the entire ordeal rather amusing. While Hackman is typically known for his gentle demeanor, his rough-around-the-edges persona and military training serve as a reminder that he's not one to be trifled with. It's a testament to Hackman's enduring presence both on and off the screen, where his legendary status commands respect, even in the midst of a roadside scuffle. Gene Hackman rolled a car. Gene Hackman's love for driving transcended the confines of the silver screen, as evidenced by his ventures into real-life racing experiences. One notable instance occurred in 1986 when Hackman decided to test his skills in a grueling six-hour endurance race at Sears Point International Raceway, nestled in the picturesque landscapes of Sonoma, Northern California. At the age of 55, Hackman embarked on this adrenaline-fueled challenge behind the wheel of his own Audi Quattro. However, the race took an unexpected turn when the brakes on his Audi locked up midway through, causing the car to somersault and come to rest on its roof, abruptly halting Hackman's participation in the event. Miraculously, Hackman emerged from the ordeal unscathed, although undoubtedly disappointed at the premature end to his racing endeavor. In the aftermath of the incident, Hackman maintained his trademark wit and humor, quipping with reporters about the mishap. Reflecting on the moment, he humorously remarked that having a stunt driver at his disposal would have been rather convenient. Despite the setback, Hackman's adventurous spirit and passion for driving remained undiminished, serving as a testament to his fearless approach to life both on and off the racetrack. On and off. Gene's Retirement Gene Hackman's departure from the world of acting was characteristically understated, befitting the demeanor of the legendary actor. Following the release of Welcome to Mooseport in 2004, where he portrayed a former president vying for the role of mayor in a small town opposite Ray Romano, Hackman made a low-key announcement during an appearance on Larry King's show. In the candid interview, Hackman revealed that he didn't have any forthcoming projects lined up and speculated that his acting career might have come to a close. This casual acknowledgement hinted at the possibility of retirement, leaving fans and industry insiders alike pondering the future of one of Hollywood's most celebrated talents. It wasn't until 2008, during the promotion of one of his books, that Hackman officially confirmed his retirement from acting. In a subsequent interview, he made it clear that he had made the deliberate decision to step away from the spotlight, marking the end of an illustrious career that spanned decades and left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Gene Hackman in 2011 In a 2011 interview with GQ, Gene Hackman entertained the idea of returning to acting, albeit under very specific conditions. 
When asked about scenarios that might prompt him to come out of retirement, Hackman quipped that he would consider a film if it could be shot within the confines of his own home without causing any disruption. He humorously added that the project should involve only one or two people at most. Given the light-hearted tone of the interview and the passage of more than a decade since, it's evident that Hackman's remarks were likely made in jest, or perhaps no filmmaker took up the unconventional offer. It's intriguing to imagine the prospect of Hackman gracing the screen once again in his later years, offering audiences a glimpse into both his acting prowess and the interior of his home. However, it seems that such a scenario remained purely hypothetical. Nevertheless, Hackman did briefly step back into the spotlight, albeit in a different capacity, to lend his distinctive voice as the narrator for two documentaries centered around the Marine Corps, a branch of the military to which he has a deep connection, having served in it himself. In 2016, he provided narration for The Unknown Flag Razor of Iwo Jima, followed by We the Marines in 2017. Despite these ventures, Hackman has remained steadfast in his decision not to return to acting since his final film in 2004, leaving behind a legacy that continues to captivate and inspire audiences worldwide, Hackman's life since retirement. Since bidding farewell to the world of acting, Gene Hackman has dedicated much of his time to his family and pursued a successful career as a writer. His literary journey began in collaboration with Daniel Lenahan, an undersea archaeologist with whom he co-authored three books. The first of these collaborations, Wake of the Perdido Star, a sea-based historical adventure novel, hit the shelves in 1999, offering readers an enthralling glimpse into maritime exploration. In 2004, the same year as his final film, Hackman added another literary accomplishment to his repertoire with the release of Justice for None. Set against the backdrop of the Great Depression, this gripping tale delved into the complexities of a murder investigation, showcasing Hackman's narrative prowess beyond the confines of the silver screen. Continuing his foray into the world of literature, Hackman embarked on solo writing endeavors, starting with Escape from Andersonville in 2008. This riveting narrative unfolded the daring escape from an Old West prison, captivating readers with its blend of historical drama and adrenaline-fueled action. In 2011, Hackman treated readers to Payback at Morning Peak, a gripping saga of revenge and romance set amidst the rugged landscapes of the Old West. Delving into themes of justice and redemption, this novel showcased Hackman's ability to craft compelling narratives that resonate with readers across generations. In 2013, Hackman released Pursuit, a thrilling police procedural that harked back to his iconic role in The French Connection, which earned him his first Academy Award. With its pulse-pounding suspense and intricate plot twists, Pursuit reaffirmed Hackman's status as a master storyteller in the realm of crime fiction. While his acting days may be behind him, Gene Hackman's literary endeavors continue to captivate audiences, offering readers a diverse array of captivating tales spanning genres from historical fiction to gripping police thrillers. Through his writing, Hackman proves that his talents transcend the boundaries of the silver screen, marriages, and family. Gene Hackman's personal life has been marked by two marriages and a total of three children from his first union. In 1956, he tied the knot with Faye Maltese, 1929-2017, a partnership that blessed them with one son, Christopher Allen, and two daughters, Elizabeth Jean and Leslie Ann Hackman. However, Hackman's demanding career in the film industry often took him away on location shoots, leaving Faye to navigate the challenges of raising their children. Despite their shared journey spanning three decades, the couple ultimately parted ways, finalizing their divorce in 1986. Following the dissolution of his first marriage, 
Hackman found love once again in 1991, when he exchanged vows with Betsy Arakawa, a talented classical pianist born in 1961. Together, they have shared a home in Santa Fe, New Mexico, where they reside amidst the stunning landscapes of the Southwest. Their Santa Fe abode, featured in Architectural Digest in 1990, epitomizes rustic elegance, blending southwestern influences with modern amenities. Perched atop a 12-acre hill, the residence offers panoramic views stretching from the local terrain to the majestic peaks of the Colorado Mountains. Even in retirement, Hackman remains an active member of the Santa Fe community, regularly attending cultural events and immersing himself in the vibrant, artistic scene of the region. As of 2023, he continues to enjoy the serenity and beauty of Santa Fe alongside his beloved wife, Betsy, creating cherished memories in the twilight years of his remarkable life. Gene Hackman Net Worth Gene Hackman, the esteemed American actor, boasts a substantial net worth of $90 million. Over the course of his illustrious career, spanning more than five decades, Hackman has amassed his fortune through his prolific contributions to the film industry. Renowned for his captivating performances, Hackman has graced the silver screen with a plethora of memorable roles that have garnered both critical acclaim and audience adoration. Notably, his standout portrayal in The French Connection catapulted him to new heights of success, earning him prestigious awards and opening doors to a myriad of lucrative opportunities in the industry. At the peak of his career, Hackman was among the highest paid actors in Hollywood, thanks to his exceptional talent and unparalleled dedication to his craft. His impressive body of work has not only solidified his status as a cinematic icon, but has also translated into substantial financial rewards. In addition to his earnings from acting in films and television shows, Hackman has leveraged his celebrity status for brand endorsements and collaborations, further augmenting his net worth. Reports indicate that the actor has raked in a staggering $890 million over the course of his illustrious career, a testament to his enduring influence and success in the entertainment industry. And that is a wrap-up of this video. What is your favorite Gene Hackman movie or performance? Drop your comments below to let us know. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating content about the legendary actor. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.